What's up everyone, welcome to the Triple Trouble. My name is Gijs, my name is Chef, and welcome to the last day of Technique Week. Welcome to the seventh and last video. Yes, um, in this video we're going to talk about the follow through. So, the follow through is just as your hand going backwards after release, um, a result of your release and of the build up tension. So, when you build up tension towards the middle with your shoulder, your back shoulder moving this way, your front shoulder moving forward, your follow through is basically your front hand moving towards the target and all the energy is going in one line towards the target. If you look at Gijs's shot, you can see that this left hand and this right hand are moving away from each other right now and that will continue in a shot. So you can see that the bow wants to jump towards the target because the energy uh, from the string pushes the bow um, and you don't do anything to hold the bow there, you uh, just let the bow go forward. Uh, that means that the bow will fall into your hand uh, and the weight of the bow will cause your arm to drop slightly. So you can see most archers, they uh, move their wrists uh, and some archers like me um, the bow jumps and then you keep your arm straight and then when the weight of the bow reaches the like the, the end of your follow-through you can drop your arm a little but yeah. always try to first go straight and then let the bow do its thing a great way to practice this is to imagine you pushing the arrow into the tent yes so don't drop it immediately, just try to imagine you're pushing the arrow all the way in its flight towards the tent. So guys will push with this hand, push, 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 and you can see the bow jumping towards the target. You can see that Kais' bow swings. This has to do with the fact that he has a bow sling on. This bow sling uh, prevents him from gripping the bow to keep it uh, from falling on the floor. Um, and if you have a bow sling and if you use the bow sling, that means that you can relax your hand and the bow will jump forward and uh, jump straight. If you don't use a finger sling and grip your bow, you have a very high uh, chance of torquing or twisting your bow in the shot and that will cause you to not hit the middle. Um, if you're starting off uh, with a sling or if you, you're not sure how to not grip your bow, if you have a reaction to grip your bow, you uh, have your coach remove your sling. Come on, Gijs. Gijs is going to remove his sling. I'm going to remove my sling. And then I'm going to stand here and I'm going to catch his bow. Yeah. So for me, it's just I just have to make a normal shot and I just have to trust Chad that he's going to catch my bow. So as a coach, you just hold your hand under the stabilizer system and catch the bow. Yeah. And so you can see that the bow jumps forward and you can see that Kais' hand pushes forward and makes the bow jump out of his hand. Yeah. Uh, the finger sling, just make sure that the bow doesn't fall on the ground and that you can keep your hand relaxed. Uh, a common mistake in follow through is that people in the will to push the arrow towards the target are gonna push up their front shoulders, they're gonna shoot like this. And that generates a lot of tension in your release. Another thing with pushing your shoulder up uh, in the shot means that your uh, hand and the direction of your arm will go to the left and uh, to the bottom. So if you shoot like this, you can see that my hand is sort of wanting to go left bottom uh, and that will cause your arrows to hit left and low as well. So the follow through isn't something that you have to force, it's a result that you can keep focusing on after your shot. So when you're following, following through, it's just your uh, muscles in the back that you feel and this muscle with which you're pushing forward. So one more time. Activating the muscles in the back, my front shoulder. And I'm just staying there till the arrow hit the target. So that was it for the Technique Week, that was it for 2018. We I had a great year. Yeah, I think. We, yeah. Uh, we improved a lot. We pretty much doubled every stat that we have on our channel and uh, we want to thank you for that because yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we couldn't have done it without you. So 
I hope that we continue growing like this and uh, if you tell your friends about us and if you uh, continue learning from us and uh, having fun watching our videos, it's we will continue having fun making them. If you have a question about your specific technique, let us know and we will try our best to answer them as good as possible. And we hope your 2019 is going to be full of archery and fun. Yes. Thanks everyone. See ya. See you in 2019.